Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We're going to get started with your reading with the uh, Heavenly Body Astrology deck to get a feel for the energy that we are reading on here astrologically. <clears throat> And we are in some big energies. I did just upload a video regarding the big energies that we are currently moving through, especially with that full moon in Pisces, uh, which was a big, big deal and a big reveal to a lot of things that were maybe hidden within ourselves and just a lot of our psychic senses and other things are coming online intensely and strongly and being able to really truly um, live with a very thin or non-existent veil for some. So this is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Sagittarius. Keep in mind these are general messages, so take what resonates for you, leave the rest, try not to build a story if it's not resonating for you. Check with your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign. Speaking of Venus, she went direct after being in retrograde for 40 days and 40 nights. She is now direct as of yesterday or last last night, um, at least where I live here. She's direct <laughs> and Jupiter is now stationing retrograde today as I'm doing this reading. <clears throat> but these readings are always timeless. So whenever you find yourself to this video. If the message resonates, the message resonates. Um, we are always circling and spiraling around different experiences in life here. So let's get started, Sagittarius. That one wanted to come out and flipped all the way around. <laughs> Curious what it was, but uh, what do we have here? We have Yang. This is the masculine energy, productivity, productivity, expression, you're doing and your forward motion. So the yang side of you. Okay, Sag. What is it that you are doing? You, what are you... Proactive in, proactivity, not productivity. Sorry about that. Proactivity. <clears throat> well, your forward motion. So let's get a little deeper into this for you, Sag. For Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius. You may have finally started to move after being stuck in a stagnant or slow moving or holding pattern. We've, a lot of us have been in a holding pattern for a while and that can be frustrating especially when you know where you're going you see you, you see things opening up and then they kind of close back down on you um it looks as though we're starting to move forward again for many again take what resonates for you the world yep completing completion of a cycle beautiful you are moving forward sad perfect card to come out this is um really uh understanding where you've been and where you're heading and learning the lessons along the way not dragging your past with you not dragging your past pain um fears insecurities doubts anger all of that stuff with you high priestess and the hierophant three major arcana sad you really are moving forward just like what i said learning along the way understanding and you know stripping away old beliefs going with your deep innate primordial inner knowing internally you've already known you've already been here like in a past life or something. You, you already know who you are, where you're headed, and you've learned a lot. You've learned a lot through that cycle. Can't go back now. Anything else for Sagittarius? Beautiful. I have like, whoo, I have a good feeling in my heart about this. This is exciting for you. Yeah, Queen of Cups, and so do you. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles below that. Yeah, you are emotionally stable 
and very in tune with yourself with your feelings and able to really read into the energies through your emotional field. Feeling very happy and content with your progress so far. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the 10 of pentacles moving towards your legacy. The direction that your soul has been leading you, you are on that path. You may also be, oh, Cardinal just landed on my bird feeder. You may also start to see the manifestations of, of your fruitions um, open up for you before your very eyes. We have the star below that. Really healing. We have so many major arcana here, Sad. Really healing through some tough, muddy, mucky cycles here. Whew. Give yourself a pat on the back there. That's beautiful. This is exciting. Uh, it's exciting for you because I feel like, you, you know, we don't get to these states easily. We go through a lot of darkness and pain and stagnancy and confusion and all kinds of places before we get to this place. World, High Priestess, Hierophant, Queen of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. I mean, give me a break. No one achieves that easily. No one. You're definitely not born into it. All right. Okay. What else for Sag? I really need to get some bird seed. Princess of Cups. Again. Well, we have Queen of Cups. Princess of Cups. Knowing what you want. Knowing who you are. And really feeling into it all. Feeling very satisfied. Again, I keep getting just like, I'm content and satisfied with where I'm at, where I'm going. I know where I've been. And um, not holding any regrets. Not holding any grudges. Understanding the lessons and um, pure forgiveness. Beautiful. Beautiful energy. Just very, very calm. Prince of Swords, Six of Pentacles, gaining knowledge, seeing life from a higher perspective, a lot more clarity, working with higher intelligence, your higher self, and in tune with that. He's holding a book, book of knowledge, the knowledge you were born with, Six of Pentacles, victory. Definitely have learned a lot and overcome a lot of tests and obstacles and challenges on your path. And you're victoriously, victoriously. I love it. You can really take a deep breath and relax. And I think that you are. You're no longer like on the edge, like what's the next, <laughs> what's the next challenge? Oh, I need to take a breath. No, you're just like, mm -hmm. all right, what's next? The star. Star wanted to come out before, it's below the Ten of Pentacles, and you are really, you've healed a lot. And you're still, we're always going through a healing process, but healing, well, not only healing for yourself, for your ancestral line, for others that are following in your footsteps, making it much easier. I just got the chills again, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, love, happiness, peace, joy, elation, look at that. Ace of Pentacles below that, new opportunities, new starts. It's just like you've broken free from the past into a whole new cycle of life, a whole new trajectory. So let's get one last message for you, Sagittarius. There's not much left to read into, but congratulations. I will say that. It definitely deserves a congratulations here. And the, the way that I'm feeling and sensing this, I've got chills all over. So that's a confirmation there. If you're liking this video, can you please support the video and click the like button that's below this video, the thumbs up button. I truly appreciate all of you who do. That helps with the algorithms here on YouTube. Feel free to comment. I'd love to read all of your comments. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you or anyone else you know are looking for a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, I am open for personal readings. You can book that through my website, which is Be The Change. 
333.com. That is also in the description box below the video. All right, last message for Sagittarius. Yeah, white buffalo. I love this card for you. I do. I think this is going to sum it up perfectly. I have not seen a cardinal on this bird feeder. They were there all in the in spring, in the beginning of the summer, but I've gone through about a month and a half or so without seeing a single cardinal until just now. So that might be a message for some of you. White buffalo. <laughs> Abundance, Ten of Pentacles right there. Abundance and security are flowing into your life. All things are possible. Balance and harmony prevail. You may be called upon to stand up for others, but you can do this because you have the support of many be beings in the spirit realm. Your native spirit wants you to know in Native American traditions, there are prophecies about the coming of the white buffalo, especially among the Lakota, Dakota, and Dakota, or the Sioux. There's a legend that white buffalo calf woman, a mystical being, came to the people a very long time ago when they were out of balance. She gifted the people with a sacred bundle containing the white buffalo calf pipe, pipe to help restore the balance. Upon leaving, the white buffalo calf woman prophesies that she will return at the end of an age and that she will appear as a white buffalo calf. In recent times, white buffalo calves have been born, leading many to believe that this is the beginning of a new time. When this card chooses you, it's an honor, for it speaks of a time of miracles and balance in all things. You are a channel for the greater forces in the universe. With their help, all is possible. But without it, things can be a struggle. Surrender to support from the great spirit. You do not have to do everything alone. And I think that that is exactly what you are, you've learned and are understanding. That you are co-creating. You are working in combination with divine forces uh, in, in this journey in earth school. So that is your message for you Sagittarius. I hope you find this helpful and I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.